Raylunil here, and hello and welcome to part number nine of my let's play of the Lord of the Rings Online in Mordor. I'm going to wave to all of you. Hello, 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 hello. Okay, so I am most likely going to be pre recording several videos tonight of various let's plays, including this one. And the main reason I'm going to be pre-recording so many is A, so that I can get ahead of schedule so that you guys have more regular content, and B, <laughs> and this is the real kicker, because today a neighbor of mine found an orphaned one-week-old kitten who was in quite bad shape, and so I took him to the Arizona Humane Society, and they said that... If they took him, they would have to put him down because of how sickly he was, but if I wanted to work my tail off and try to save this little guy, then I would be welcome to and they would give me all the supplies needed. Being me, of course I chose to try to save the kitten, and he is currently sitting about two feet away from me, passed out asleep, waiting for his next feeding, and he needs fed every two hours because of how young he is. So I'm not going to be getting much sleep. So, while I'm still semi-rested, I'd like to get as many videos filmed for all of you as I can. <laughs> oh dear. Keeping it real with Ray Lanil here. Um. <laughs> oh man. Because I'm probably going to be half dead soon. And I'd like to film when I'm not half dead. So, I'm going to have to film as much as possible before I'm completely exhausted <laughs> from all the kitten feeding. Thankfully, though, he'll only need fed every two hours for a week, and then it'll go to every three hours, and then after another week, every four hours, and it'll keep going like that until he needs fed every six hours, which is way more easily manageable. So, yeah. Haha, <laughs> yourself, goblins! And also, on the kitten note, um,. The Greek god kittens, who I showed you guys a few weeks ago, are very nearly ready to be adopted now. So I am very excited for them. They are going to be graduating from kitten boot camp, as it were. <laughs> Alright, so... As for this here, though, we are going to be obviously doing all these quests. And I figured I'd just kill some goblins and stuff while looking around, seeing if I could find the various signal flags and packs and whatnot that I'm supposed to get for this uh, series of quests here. Alright, let me check my inventory. Okay, I think I applied most things that I could use here. I'll apply that. And let's see, are there any more buffs that I could use? Yeah, I could do that. Put that one on me a couple times over. Okay. Awesome. Now the veteran strength will last for almost four hours, so that will be for several parts, so that's good. Alright. Uh, where are the signal flags? I have absolutely no clue where the signal flags are, other than in this general direction, because that's what the map says. Oh, that's why I went over here, because of the wood. Derp. Sorry! Sorry about that, guys! Oh my god, I did not realize how much hit points this captain has. <laughs> oh god! We can handle him! We'll be fine! <sighs> Famous last words, right? <laughs> god. We'll manage. We'll manage. I'm still proud of myself for not dying in the last part. I think that might possibly be the first in this up. <laughs> oh god. With any luck, though, it'll be a uh, continuing trend before long, hopefully. Oh, my word. Die, you stupid captain. Ah, crap. Not a frenzied nerd, huh? I don't want you. I don't want any of your frenzied nonsense. No, 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 that is not what I signed up for. Go away. Thank you. Okay. Now let's grab that- OH FOR CRYING OUT LOUD! Can no one leave Selenil alone today? Oy vey, it's like they think they're my enemies or something. 
bad jokes, bad jokes. Completely terrible jokes. Uh, oh, there it is. It's over here. How's the fluff? How in the fluff? How in the ever-loving fluff am I supposed to get at that? Ah! Seriously? Seriously? You stupid, stupid, rude archer. Go away! No! Stop trying to hurt me. Not allowed. Okay. How do I get this wood? How do I get it? What the? I can somehow get it from here. That makes no sense. That makes absolutely no sense. But okay. I'll go with it, I guess. The heck? Oh, more Gorgoroth wood. Oh, joy and rapture. Let's grab that here. Oh my goodness. Okay, looting that. Now, where are these flags? I'm gonna look at the map. Okay, apparently there's some in this general area, and some all the way over here. Okay. I wonder if I've gotten all of the signal flags that are right over here, because I feel like I've gotten at least some of them that are in this area. I really feel like I have. Especially since it says I've found five out of eight of them. Yeah, and there's one right there that I just walked near. But I'd already picked it up, so there's no real point in trying to pick it up again because it's already been done! Hmm. Alright, if I just follow this path for long enough, then it looks like I will make my way to the next area where signal flags can be found. So let's go ahead and do that! And while we're at it, we can look at the absolutely destroyed, nasty, gross atmosphere here. It's all dark and spooky. But then, what do you expect of Mordor? Happiness and rainbows and sunshine? <laughs> Certainly not what I expect. Okay, there's Gorgoroth wood over there. Dismounted. Okay, can I go in here without aggroing anyone? Yes. Yes, I can. Okay. Grab the wood! Thank you. I swear, I'm finding more wood than I am signal fires. Or not signal fires, signal flags! Ooh, there's a flag! Found one. It's up here. Let's go get it. Grab the signal flag. Used by the forge workers of Udin to communicate covertly. What does this one mean? I have no idea. It means circle upside down V, apparently. <laughs> I don't know. <gasps> ah. I wonder if it's a reference to the fact that there's nothing in the Cave of Wonders! <coughs> Sorry. I'm not sure how, how long it'll take for me to get over that, but that, that just made me sad. <laughs> Uh... Oh. Well, dang! Dang! I have to go all the way over here? Oh, fluff! No! I landed in the water! I landed in the icky death water! Very technical term, I know, but hey, what can you do, right? <laughs> icky death water! Uh, okay, how am I supposed to get over there without getting... Murdered by Icky Death Water! Uh. Okay, I go like this! No, don't go in the water. Don't go in the water. Don't go- Sailor Nail! Get out of the Icky Death Water! What did I tell you, woman? What did I tell you? <laughs> really? Ah, oh, nuts. Now I'm stranded over here. What the fudge? It says that there's. It says there's a signal flag over here. It's gotta be up there somewhere. Because clearly it's not down here in the death water. So, uh, oh god. Why is it doing a thousand damage every two seconds? <laughs> Stop it! Ah! Okay, how do I get up there? I burn in the fire and then I say hello to Snow White the Squirrel, apparently. No, no, that's not quite how it is. <laughs> 
That would be a more amusing way to do it, though. Instead, we have to go over here and try not to get killed by this freaking death water. Oh my god. What is... Why am I just standing here and it's killing me? I'm not even in the water! How do I even get up there? I don't see how I'm supposed to get up there. I think I go this way. Shortcut! Yeah. Ooh! I have the evil buff now. Gosh dang it! Why? It looks like I can go that way, but then I try to... Then I try to go that way and it's like, nope! Dang. How am I supposed to go up there? Ow. Getting burned by the water. The acid water. This is not good. Can't I get up onto this platform thingy? Ow. There we go. There we go. Out of the nastiness. Let's see. If I go that way, maybe? Gosh, this is so confusing! Hmm. Where the heck? Where, oh, where is the signal fly? Oh, for crying out loud. Are you serious? It was there this whole time. <laughs> oh, God. Let me know down in the comments below if you knew where that signal flag was and were yelling at the screen this whole time. <laughs> if you were, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay, apparently the last one is over here. So let's... Sneak our way over that way. Ooh, excuse me. And try not to get murdered by anything too terrible. Or anything not quite so terrible, but still murderous. Yeah, I know. As you do. Oops. Look out, work. I don't want to aggro you. Instead, I want to see how close I am. Okay, I'm pretty close. Let's see now. Where is this last signal flag? Okay. Ooh, Black Uruk Enforcer. I don't need them in this part, though, do I? Yes, I do. Just kidding. Die! Die, Black Uruk Enforcer. I did not realize I needed to kill you until I moused over you, so I'm glad I moused over you instead of ignoring you. <coughs> Say more things I can make fun of. <coughs> he sounds like a demented Chewbacca. <laughs> Oh god, no! Oh no! You knock me out, I knock you out, you mean thing! You mean and rude thing! I still say he sounds like a demented Chewbacca. <laughs> well, demented Wookiee, I should say, not Chewbacca. Chewbacca is the individual one, Wookiee is the species. Got three out of five of them dead. Ah, yes! The last signal flag! Hooray! And a petrified looking dwarf. Poor bugger. He's frightened. Alrighty, I found the signal flag. Return to the lying slave? Hmm. That sounds fishy. Where is he? Is he up here? Yeah, it looks like the slave is up this way. Where are you? You up here? Yeah. Okay, dude. You have looked and looked, yes? And you have seen. Ah, you return. You have looked and looked, yes? And you have seen. I see it is so. Curtil, I am named. And you are Selonil, yes? It is well. Now tell me what you know and what you have learned. You tell the slave what Barathron thought they were, and what he thought they might mean, and he frowns. You relate, to the best of your memory, what signal flags you found in the basin, and a thin smile appears on his pained mouth. You get the uneasy impression that he may be learning more from you than you are from him. At last, he nods. Keen eyes and swift legs, but are you help or are you hurt? Help, I think, and no, no, not cruel, not deceiving. 
then I will offer help for your help. What I know of Udin, so too will you know. And in truth, of Udin I know much. Here, I will begin. Tell me, friend, when two men... Uh, met to speak, does one say a thing and then both go off without another word? No, no, no. But I'm not a man! I am no man! I'm an elven woman! <gasps> ah, but first, this will not do. I must get up. Will you help me? This seems a little suspicious, but he's a hurt slave, so okay. Don't try to kill me. The slave comes up unsteadily with a groan, but seems steady enough once he's up. When two men speak, one talks and then the other, back and forth. So it is when we speak with flags. Then only those with eyes can hear. The captain of the pit, our lord and taskmaster, he has no such eyes. Nor his enforcers, nor his sorcerers, nor even his spies. They hear not when the flags speak, only we forge workers do. Curtil delves in his wandering patter into the meanings of the flags, how one describes the nature of the topic, another whether present, past, or future, a third whether a certainty, a possibility, a warning, or a wondering, and so forth. All in all, the flags are far more subtle and complex than Barathron took them to be. And now let us seek out the second speech, the answering. We should look, I think, east of here and south, by the road up to Mornar Forge. You will go and look, and when you have seen, there I will be upon the upward road. This guy talks weird, but okay. I mean, he's been in Mordor as a slave for a while, so I guess that would have a... probably a pretty negative effect on you. Okay, I need to reforge that later. We will do that later. Later, later, later. Do I need to kill you? I probably do. I do! Oh, joy! Oh, dear. I did not mean to fall off. Oh, no! Roar! Let me get up. There we go. This music is so awesome. I know I say that a lot, but I can't help it, okay? It's just, it's just really good. <laughs> Orc on fire! Orc on fire! I like to set the evil orc on fire with my arrows! Whee! Oh boy. Quit roaring at me like, an, like a complete idiot and like actually run and try to attack me? No? No? You're gonna die? Sounds good. I can deal with that. Please die. Uh, uh. He's dead. He's dead. Now we just need one more enforcer, and then I need to find sorcerers to k k kill. What is that noise? Oh, it's those thingies. <laughs> okay, that had me a little freaked out. Huh? I'm not gonna lie. Okay. Wee. Let's murder this enforcer, and then we should be done with the enforcers. Hooray! Will you please die, you silly thing? Nice helmet, though. Kind of reminds me a little bit of Skyrim. A little bit. Just a little. I'm not going to do what I did in the last part and, like, stare too closely and almost die. But, you know. <laughs> oh my god. Rawr! Rawr. Kiting orcs is fun! Whoa! Hooray! It is dead. Okay. Let us look for more signal flags and see if we can find those sorcerers. And probably find some more abandoned packs and things. Okay. Off we go in search of signal flags far into Mordor. Okay, not really very far at all, but you get the point. <laughs> <gasps> oh god. That never ceases to freak me out a little bit. <laughs> ah, I don't like that noise. Oh. Is that a signal flag over there? It is. How sad I have to kill this guy. That is depressing. Sorry, frenzied Nernhoff. Goodbye. 
Is it just me or does his skin almost look blue and grayish? It's pretty disturbing. It's like he's almost dead already. Are they secretly undead and we just don't know it? <laughs> or are they just completely messed up from hanging out in Mordor for too long? If you happen to know, let me know, unless it's a spoiler. And if it's a spoiler, just say it's a spoiler. Okay. Where are some more signal flags? <gasps> Goblin! Goblins is goblins is goblins is goblins is goblins is must die. I wish for goblins is to kill over cause they are mean. <laughs> Yourself, goblin. Okay. There's a signal flag back there. Up there, rather. How do I get to it? Okay, it looks like if I go up this way. And I fall a little bit, perhaps? Or, uh, yeah. I go right here! That works. That works pretty nicely. Grab it. Thank you, Salinel. Found another signal flag. Okay. There should be four more, it looks like. According to the quest tracker. Ooh, joy and rapture! There's one! Let's go. Go grab the thing of my jiggy. Interesting. That's a weird symbol. Okay. So is she just staring at them and committing their appearance to memory or what? Okay. Because they don't actually disappear, but obviously you lose the ability to click on them after you already have, so. I don't know. These things make scary noises. Okay, I don't need to kill that captain right now. Or those nasty goblins. Although it's tempting to, just because they're goblins. And goblins are the literal worst. Ooh, there's another signal flag. That one almost looks like a mushroom a little bit. I don't know, am I the only one who thinks that looks like a mushroom? Do you guys think that looks like a mushroom? Let me know. I swear that thing looks like a mushroom. Alright, let's get this piece of wood. I don't want to know what's up with these bones. They just creep me out. So badly. Oh my word. Ah! Alright. Where are some more signal flags? Where? Oh come on, surely there's gotta be some nearby. Come on now. Where? Ah, oh, nuts. What did I aggro? <gasps> uh oh! An enforcer! Rats! He doesn't even count for anything. How lame! I'll just die, you stupid overgrown monstrosity! Ooh! Why are they so good at knocking me out? That's that's not good. That's not good at all. Actually, <laughs> that's slightly terrifying, but thankfully I have my Cry of the Hunter skill, which is incredibly useful. That thing has saved my bacon so many times it is ludicrous and wondrous. And of course I attracted an evil human. Because, you know, I can't go anywhere without attracting things I don't mean to. <laughs> Why is that my primary talent in this game? I don't know! <laughs> to be fair, I feel like I had that same talent when I played World of Warcraft a lot too. I don't know. It's been a while since I've played WoW. Kinda miss it. Oh dear. And no, even if I were to start playing World of Warcraft again, I would not stop playing Lotro. <laughs> I don't have time for multiple MMOs though. Heck, I barely have time for this one. <laughs> I make time for it though because of you guys and because I love it. Alright. Now, where the hay are more flags? Want more flags? Where are they? Map? Oops, wrong button. Okay. An answer unspoken is only in this general vicinity. So, the last two flags that I require are right around here, apparently. Ow! 
I broke my leg. I didn't mean to break my leg. Mm. Mm. Just grabbing a drink of water there. And examining the flag. Oh, okay, so she is just looking at it and committing it to memory. Okay. Oh, there's the last flag. Hooray! That looks like a half-finished upside-down sun. Will you please die, forge worker? Please. Please, 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 please. Excellent. Okay, let's grab this flag. Well, not grab it, but stare at it. Alright. Now we need to find Curtil up the road. Oh, Curtil, I stared at more flags. That's not him. Someone who looks similar to him, but it is not him. Alright, is he up the road this way? Yeah. Also not him. But I need to kill this person. That is sad. Ah! Die! Alrighty, grab that. That's a goblin. Where is he? How far up the road is this guy? Not there, no. Dang. He's quite a bit further up than I was expecting for some reason. <laughs> I'm gonna go a pretty far away to find him. Oh, there he is. There you are. Now what do we do? We have only tellings, and tellings tatter. Up here you may look down on the land of making and labor, land of muddy marching. Land of swords made and swords raised. Look below and you will see. The shape is like a sword gash, is it not? A tale is whispered among my kind. That Zael Zangin, the resplendent one, fought here in this place with the fire giant Zalim Atash, and their fighting broke the world. Many such tales are here among my kind. He laughs. Who can say what happened long ago? Not you or I? For who should remember? We have only tellings, and tellings tatter. Tatter and wear to dust. But now you must tell to me what flags it was you saw. You describe each symbol you saw, drawing in the barren dirt when necessary, and the Nernhoff slave nods gravely. This guy's speech patterns remind me a tiny, tiny little bit of Cicero from Skyrim. <laughs> tiny bit. We must seek Ushkba, the Overseer, then. It is he who will accomplish what we seek. Paying no heed of any surprise on your face, Curtil thinks for a long moment. He has agreed, agreed to talk to us at least, and there is hope for more. Surely he is found at his post, north of here by the great foundry which lies above Mothalvor? Moth I'm sorry, I probably butchered that. Why do we need to talk to this overseer? I'm feeling mighty suspicious now. Uh, this doesn't seem good, guys. This does not seem good at all. Okay, before we end this part, I want to do this quest and talk to this overseer. Because I'm, like, actually curious about this quest line. <laughs> Onward, Erondir! I'm not sure if I just made a weird squeak noise or if that was the kitten. <gasps> if it was me, sorry about that. If it was the kitten, aww. <laughs> I really don't know. Oh dear. Why am I attracting everything away? Because I'm just riding on past it going, La 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 la, look at me, I'm my big white stallion! <laughs> Not conspicuous at all. Nope, 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 nope. Oh dear. How far away is this overseer? Oh jeez. It's pretty far. Good thing I got out Aaron, dear. Otherwise, we'd be here for a while and that would just be lame. Whee! Oh my goodness! We almost there? I do believe so. And yeah, then we have to go up here. It's in the general 
blue vicinity, as it were. Oh, thanks, Mordor Defiler. Ah, oh, crumb. Oh, crumb. Oh, crumb, 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 What the hey is that noise? It sounded weird. Huh. It sounded almost like the noise it makes when you level up your legendary items, but it definitely wasn't that noise because I didn't do that. What the? Aaron, dear, move! Oh my god. That was terrifying. Where the heck is this overseer? What the? Oh. Up here, I guess? Oh. Yeah. Mod hole vor, I think. I don't know. How do I get in there? Oh, one second. Okay. I just had to press a button. Okay. Die, Modo Archer! I need to get in there and I need to get uh, Ushk Ball. Oh dear. But it is time for me to feed the kitten, so unfortunately I'm gonna have to do that in the next part! <laughs> Dang, nabbit! That's okay, though. I've gotten us really close, and I'm gonna stop sailing ill, like, right outside the gate after I finish killing this Wardor- Mordor Warrior! <laughs> Wardor Warrior? <laughs> what?! Oh, gosh. <laughs> Die! Alrighty. Let's go over here. Let's kill this guy, and then after he's dead, I'll end the part. And then in the next part, we will get to find this overseer and infiltrate that area, which should be loads of fun and totally safe. Yup, 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 totally safe. And if you believe that, that it will be safe anyway, you are completely ridiculous and don't know how this works. You please kill over, warrior! Had nothing on nonsense and I have a kitten to feed! Wah! Die! Thank you! Alrighty, guys! Thanks for watching and now let's head on over to the end screen! Sailor Nil says goodbye! Alright you guys, I'm going to be ending this video here. I hope that you've all enjoyed it. Please be sure to give it a like and to use the links on screen to subscribe to my channel, support my Patreon campaign, and check the description of the video in order to find other ways to support me. Thank you very much for watching and I hope to see all of you in my next video.